a couple of years ago, about four years ago, a colleague of mine took a copy of my book titled Inspirational Kitchen to the house. And she left it on the dining table. Her daughter picked the book, looked at the title, Inspirational Kitchen. She flipped through the pages, chapter after chapter, next chapter. Then, without knowing, all the, we got to know that she dropped that jar. Surprised. Now, as an author of 15 plus books, a chapter of a book is very essential. Sometimes a chapter can change your whole life. And we are looking at how to move to the next chapter, the next level of your life. What do you need to do? It all begins in the mind. Now, mo most of you have dropped your dreams, your ideas. It's about time you go pick it up and begin to reimagine, rethink, and rebrand your life and your stage and move your business, your life, and your brand to the next level. What do you do? It all begins here in the mind. Say your mind is either your prison or your palace. What you do is yours to decide today. As we've heard so many stories and ideas, what are you doing about it? How do you move to the next level? This is what you need to do. You must be nice. You're asking, why? how do I become nice? The first most important thing is to niche it down. you got to niche to be rich. The world is not looking for generalists. It's looking for experts in little areas because subject matter experts, SMEs. If you can do everything, that is good. But what is the one thing that you need to master? As you live here, as you listen to me, what is the one thing that the world can knock at your door that for this, I'll call you out. For this, I'll call copy. If you can do so many things, you are missing the mark. So niche it now. The next thing is to innovate. I, you need to innovate. Any company, individual, that refuses to innovate will die. And many are dying slowly. Big brands are dying because they are refusing to innovate. I'm here to tell you that you must start innovating. What technology can I add to my business or my brand to excel? I keep saying, finally, like, in this age, if Google can't find you, hey, you don't exist. You're doing business in the dark. So what must you do? Think of innovation. What is the 10% of something new that I can add to my existing products or services? About six years ago, I told a couple of authors that the world is changing, the trends of reading is changing, that we need to move to the digital platform. They were saying, no, no, someone said, oh, I need to pray about that. Okay, pray. We will play with that, the technology. So I, I decided to roll out my books into digital forms, Amazon and Co. They're still, up to now, most of them are still standing on the fence. Do I jump in or do I wait? The world is moving digital. I published my 15 plus books on Amazon and still selling. They are still waiting, waiting. They are adapters, but what must you do? You need to innovate. How do I get my products and services to the client globally? You can't sit here and just think you can do only one thing. The idea is, what can you add to your existing brand and business? You need to what? Innovate. The next thing is very essential, especially this part of our world, is you need to collaborate. Most people are doing great things, but they're doing it as individuals. The world is not looking for one person, one master jack of all trades, but corporations, how can we combine forces? What can we do together? Bible says that one will chase a thousand, but two, things of thousands. It talks about multiplication, numbers. If Africans, businessmen and women need to collaborate and work together as force, we can build giant brands locally in Ghana and Africa. But what, what do we see? Most people are doing individual work and thinking that is all. As we live here, look for your next joint venture, next business partner. How do we combine forces as Africans, business, to move forward. That is essential to move our brands and business forward. Who will be your next business partner? Look at the global brands. Your other companies are buying other companies because they want to be bigger and greater. So what are you doing? That one idea. The next thing you need to do, which is very essential, as most of you have got wonderful ideas, you want to write books, you want to do so many things, but most of you are sitting on your ideas. This is what you must do now. You need to go and execute with excellence. If you wait, there will never be an ideal time. Now's the time to launch out, move forward, and let your dreams live. You've had enough of ideas, enough of stories. You know, you've listened to the best of speeches ever. I think the best of investors, but you're doing nothing about your ideas. I came to re-energize you to go back to your dreams and ideas and execute. I say this, you need to be nice. Niche it down, innovate, collaborate, and execute with excellence. When you do this, you can move to the next chapter and move your brand and your business to the next level. And I end with you. I say, if you do all these things, you can move to the next level with grace. But promise me this, that you may or may not make a million dollars in life. And so many will be singing praise of you. 
Monuments may not be recorded in your name, but promise me this. To live life fully, to give wholeheartedly, to do your best of what you have, to impact souls, to give wholeheartedly, to use your gifts and talent to serve humanity, to live, love, and live a legacy in your own way. God bless you. God bless Africa.